So now we have all the methods that we need to work with the discard bot via APIs. Now let's test the event uh, when a new user subscribes to a pricing plan. Uh, this time we're going to test with the real discard ID number. So let's go up here uh, inside the check our session complete. All right, so step number one, two, three, four, and we're going to add step number five. Step number five, that's mean once the user subscribes successfully, we're going to add the role that they pay for that uh, to this member. And we're going to call the uh, Discord add. Uh, the first one is the user ID, uh, which is the Discord ID in this case. And the second one, we need to know the role ID that the user subscribed to. And we get it from the plant, all right? Plans Discord role ID. Remember that inside our plans, we do have the uh, store the role ID. Okay, so next is a plant.name. All right, so this time we're going to test with your reels uh, Discord ID. Now to do that, I can go back to our server, Discord server on the admin size. Uh, I want to test with a layer, so I'm going to click right click on here and copy uh, user Discord user ID layer for testing. All right, and then go up here. I'll just create a new one. So this time uh, for the Discord ID, I'm going to replace with the real ID here. All right, and the plan I'm going to subscribe to, let's just say the, the pro, right? All right, it's a pay stuff, Discord ID, uh, which is the real Discord ID, and the plans ID is one. All right, hit enter. All right, cool. So now just uh, give me a checkout link, just click on this one. All right, $5, and for the emails, I wanna say something like, uh, test email because uh, the leo gmail.com is already used from um, the testing before so I just want to use another test email now for two and just say test all right that's fine now if I subscribe successfully then what we expecting is that uh, two things the open start, all right, so right now open start doesn't have any ambit messages. And also, as you can see, uh, if I open Leo size, uh, Leo, oh, okay, I can see Leo have the asset to pro and premium. So what I can do, first I'm going to click here, click on Leo, and I'm going to remove the premiums row, all right? Okay, so now, Leo doesn't have the asset to the pro or the premium channel and also uh, his color is white. Okay, now let's go back here. Where's that? Okay, here we go. So I'm going to hit subscribe and let's see. All right, so the payment successfully and here we go. Uh, first thing, Leo's um, colors name to change to this pink color, which is uh, if you click on here, he's just added the bro row into here. And also inside the uh, open channel, I don't see the open channel having the ambit message that we're expecting. Um, I think probably it's going to the having fun. Yes, it is. Um, so um, as you can see, it just creates the uh, ambit message, new subscriber, and say someone has subscribed the pro plant. All right, uh, we don't want to mention exactly who's uh, subscribed to this one. We just uh, want to say, hey, someone just joined the community. Let's separate it. So that's why we have the uh, image here and the color of the ambit message. Beautiful. Um, the only things that we want to do is actually I wanted to put it in the open state. So what we can do in this case, is right click on the server and go into server settings and going to interaction. All right, so in here, uh, click on the webhook, this one, and change this one to open start. Yeah, and you can copy the URL, save change. 
All right, if you want to next time it's going to the open start instead of having fun now so go back here uh, I'm not sure if they are gonna change this yep so the um, the URL seem to be the same all right we just need to change the uh, channel and the webhook still the same all right good uh, if you want you can uh, remove this um, one and we can do one more time all right so what I can do is I'll just uh, click on this remove the pro so all done uh, this one is just for testing purpose okay um, the next up because uh, in other ways we already got this um, user ID so what I want to do maybe go back here click on the Ruby here Or maybe I'll just uh, hit exit and Rails console again. All right, and if I go into subscribers equal subscriber dot all to get all of the subscriber and display the subscriber. And yes, we have um, subscriber ID four uh, with a Discord ID, and I want to remove this one so I can say subscriber dot last dot delete. All right, so now it's gone. Uh, we can double check that by going here, click on the uh, Tando client with a get, and we can check for the this user ID. Paste here, hit enter. Yep, it's now. We don't have any subscriber with this one, so we can do a test again. Uh, what I want to do is just uh, create the this space up and uh, put your discard I'm gonna paste the discard ID of Leo and plan this one I'm going to plan number two all right I'm going to try the process again uh, let's try with um, maybe test because we already removed that one so that's five oops all right hit subscribe and going here and see what happenings hey it works this time uh, as you can see on the server side Leo just turned to yellow with his name and also on the open start we now have the webhook explains this one nicely beautiful so in the next video we're going to do the same process but this time is for the cancel subscription